Now, ever since Brexit became reality, Europe has demanded one thing above all, clarity. Confirmation that Theresa May will be Britain's next Prime Minister goes some way to achieving that, but don't expect anyone in Paris, Brussels or Berlin to be celebrating. What they really want to know is when she'll invoke Article 50, the thing that formally triggers the exit process and what her vision is for the future. Now, German Chancellor Angela Merkel uh, had this to say earlier. It is, of course, up to the British government when to submit this application, but we will stick to what has been decided that negotiations can only begin when Article 50 has been used by Great Britain to begin exit talks. Well, uh, Tara Palmieri spoke to Outside Source when the programme was in Brussels recently. She's in London. We've brought her into the studio. You've very kindly joined us here, Tara. I mean, what do the leaders make of Theresa May? How familiar are they with her? I think that they're happy probably to have some fresh blood because of the entire debacle obviously has created some strained relationships between the leaders and David Cameron so to have a, a new voice is, is I'm sure a bit refreshing but at the end of the day it's about pragmatism it's about getting some political certainty in a time of great uncertainty but she's still sort of a unknown in a way so they're hoping that she'll stick to her guns that she will trigger article 50 the sooner the better because you know as we've seen in Italy they their stock market plunged by 12 points after Brexit they are facing economic issues as well from this so they just want to know the next leader understands their concerns at home their political situations and will work with them to you know create a stable environment now she may have been on the remain side in the referendum campaign but she said very firmly yesterday brexit means brexit they're right. not going to get any leeway on that right and that might be comforting actually in a way to some of the leaders because if you say it's brexit and then, and then the next leader changes their mind this just creates even more political uncertainty in their own homes and at the, tr the truth is is that they need to make moves they need to start the process of withdrawal and it has to be done in a way that sorts that sets a precedent that not other, that other countries can't also withdraw as well or else the entire project will essentially fall apart we've heard some very strong statements coming from angela merkel over the last few days she's seen very much as being the person who's driving this whole process forward uh, a lot of people have said made comparisons with theresa may and angela merkel saying that she could be britain's own angela Right. Well, they are the daughters of pastors. They have, they're about the same age. Uh, they seem to be very pragmatic, both of them, less emotional, more of the hard workers behind the scene type rather than the uh, showy uh, one who wants to get the attention, the limelight all the time. So they from the shoes in Theresa May's case. Right. <laughs> but uh, they seem to, probably, they probably will get along well. I mean, only time will tell. But at the same time, the job that they have to do is not one that usually makes too many friends. This is a divorce after all, right? And um, they would rather get get through with it and start moving and and you know everyone said great we have a new prime minister but let's let's hope that this actually moves the process along more quickly yeah you talked about perhaps that the uh, various European leaders would be pleased for uh, a fresh clean sheet if you like but right. in a sense Theresa May represents continuity they're not going to get particularly new starts in many of the things that they want no but at least they know where she's coming from in the same sense she's promised that there will be a brexit right so that at least that's one known in all of the unknowns uh, rather than perhaps starting a negotiation where they're using all of their energy i mean you have to think about it this way france has already set up a task force for brexit germany is going to set up a task force for brexit and then you have the council which is you know pooling people from all over to have their own task force their legal services are involved the commission like this is a lot of manpower from the eu to deal with brexit so the last thing they really want is someone who's a little wishy-washy they're spending their time right now organizing themselves and they want to know that they're moving forward and they want a clean break Tara, briefly, if you like, I mean, you've been in, in Brussels just over a year. Mm -hmm. What have the last few days been like since most of the media left and focused on what's been going on in London? Right. What have the days been, what has the aftermath felt like for you? I think it's been a bit of a reflection period right now. Um, you are seeing a lot of the leaders here wondering, okay, what is the future for us? How are we supposed to give direction to the EU? Frankly, this is probably something that should, they should have been doing before the vote so that the next day they said, okay, we lost a member, our second biggest economy, um, but this is where we're going. They didn't have that. So that means for the next few months before the September summit in Bratislava, they need to have some sort of direction. They need to show leadership. 
the capitals you're seeing leadership. You saw France and, France and Germany come out, the socialists from France and Germany come out with a joint paper saying, this is where we think the future of Europe is, which is integration. But then you have the Eastern countries from the Visegrad countries, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland. Um, they're the ones who are saying, we want less integration. Let's just make this a trade union, sort of what the UK had always wanted. So in the end, it may seem that the Eastern powers may be the greatest allies for the UK in these negotiations. Tara, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks very much for coming in, Tara Palmieri from Politico.